With his pants sagging down under his butt, 24-year-old Toby Diller was wandering around a ghetto intersection while drinking a can of beer. Police noticed him. They drove up quickly, blocking his path, and Toby Diller began to run. The police got out of their car and chased him across a busy street, yelling, Hold up! Stop! Stop! Police! After running across the street and back, Toby Diller tripped and fell. Police pinned him to the ground while commanding him to lay on his belly. On the video from one of the police officer's body cams, it appeared that Diller was mostly under control, if not entirely compliant, when one of the officers said, he's got my gun, shoot him. It's not really clear in what sense Toby Diller had the officer's gun, but it's very clear what his partner did. He pulled his own gun and shot Toby Diller in the head, dead, over a can of beer. And now for a quiz. Did the police kill Toby Diller because he was black? Was this just another example of the racist police in America? No, it wasn't. Why not? What makes me so sure? Because Toby Diller was not black. Toby Diller was about as white as a person could be without being albino. Chalky white. Question two, why did you presume that Diller was black? Was it my mentioning the saggy pants or ghetto or the inclusion of the word black in the previous question? Yes, I was intentionally misleading in the choice of words, but it really didn't take much, did it? Why is that? Well, each of us carries around a mental model of the world, presumptions of the way things are. In this case, the mental model is that the police are racist and that they target black people. Question three. Did the police target Toby Diller because he was white? Never mind the answer. Just notice your reaction to the question. It seems absurd, right? But why? It's because the question does not fit the prevailing mental model that police target black people, not white people. Question four. Why did the police kill Toby Diller? It was not because he was white. It was not because he was drinking a beer. It's not because he ran away. It's not even because he was resisting arrest. It wasn't until Diller attempted to take an officer's gun, allegedly, potentially putting those officers' life at risk, that they shot and killed him. It was the perceived threat to the police safety that got Diller shot. Nothing else. Certainly not race. Question five. If Toby Diller had been black, would people be more ready to say that he had been targeted and killed by police for being black? Of course they would. And since there is gruesome video of it, the shooting, no doubt it would be a national media event with the associated protests, riots, political grandstanding, perhaps even a televised funeral. But why? facts of the case wouldn't be any different. And here, many people would argue that if Diller were black, then his killing would be part of the disturbing trend of police violence against black people, not just an isolated tragedy of one white guy. And here, many people would be wrong. Justine Demond, Christian Bowman, Dion Damon, Joshua Grubb, Brandon Stanley, Abraham Fryer, Dylan Noble, Zach Hammond, Kelly Thomas, etc., etc. All white, all unarmed, all killed by the police. 
And other than the color of their skin, they share one other thing in common. You've never heard of any of them. Toby Diller was not an exception. In fact, twice as many unarmed white people are killed by police than unarmed black people are, each and every year. Last year, in 2019, nine unarmed black people were killed and 19 white people, more than twice the number. And when adjusted for the number of encounters with police, Unarmed white people are actually at slightly higher risk of being killed by police while in custody. And so, the mental model is wrong. The narrative is wrong. Al Sharpton is wrong. CNN is wrong. The protesters and rioters are wrong. All the companies posting social media messages of solidarity are wrong. Black Lives Matter is wrong. And even Dave Chappelle is wrong. And of course, let us not forget, the police who wrongfully kill people in their custody are wrong, 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 regardless of what race those people happen to be. Justice is supposed to be blind, not stupid. And at this point, I would just settle for colorblind. But we live in a world of error where both outrage and solutions are based on this mistaken mental model. And it's not an accident. Of the many people tragically killed while in police custody, only very few are chosen to become national news items. I guess it's a sort of privilege, for lack of a better term. People just don't want the truth. They want to feel righteous, or outraged, or aggrieved, or morally superior, or attain approval from their peers, or just to feel like they knew it all along. And that is achieved by feeding the mental model that imprisons them. And so, the show goes on. Peace out, and good luck. We're going to need it.